Hi everyone, it's Ms. Arissi and I teach fifth grade here at Nichols. I'm going to read the chapter titled Violetta. Granny Torelli says, Rosie, give Bailey a turn with that dough before you beat it to death. I shove the bowl at Bailey and go to the sink to wash my hands. I scrub them, rough, as if they are covered with tar. I feel Granny Torelli's eyes on my back. She says, did I ever tell you about Violetta? Nope. Bailey says, tell. Rosie, Granny Torelli says, you want to hear about Violetta? Sure, I say. Anything is better than hearing about nice, funny, curious Janine. First, I have to tell Bailey about Pardo. Granny Torelli says, Pardo was my buddy, my pal when I was growing up. We were like this. Inseparable, she says, squeezing her thumb and her forefinger together just as she did when she told me about Pardo. Then one day, a girl comes to stay with her aunt next door to Pardo. Her name is Violetta. The way Granny says her name, I hear a little ice queen in her voice. Cool name, Bailey says. Violetta. Ha! Granny Torelli says, well, I tell you, that name means little Violet, but she was no little fragile Violet, that Violetta. She swings into our village, all curly hair and long legs and big mouth. Chia, 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 chatterbox, all day long. Bailey laughs. Chia, 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 he says, echoing Granny Torelli. Granny Torelli flicks her hand in the air as if she is flicking away a fly. Oh, Pardo, Violetta would say. Oh, Pardo, you are so strong. You are so handsome. You are so smart. Please, will you help me with this? And please, will you help me with that? I love it that Granny Torelli has a little ice cream tiger in her, too. I tell you, that Violetta, she hypnotized Pardo. He was stumbling around as if he'd been kicked by a mule. <sighs> All in a daze over Violetta. I see Bailey smile, then stop, mid-smile. He is thinking, I wonder what about. I want to bore a little hole inside his head and see what he is thinking. Granny Torelli shifts her feet on the chair and says, Psh, I tell you, I am not too much liking this little Violetta chicky. I am not too much liking the way she is falling all over my buddy, my pal Pardo. Bailey turns his head toward me. I know he can't see my expression, but still, I look down at my feet, stare at my shoes. I want to hear how Granny Chorelli handled the Violetta chickie. There's a knock at the window behind me. I turn. Uh-oh. 